Hi, welcome back to Hootin' This Crap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I braided my hair and it started to like come out and so yeah, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, um welcome back to Who and His Crafts. Um there's quite a few new new ones. So welcome to the Hoots Nest. If I'm tilted crooked, I'm sorry. I don't have my camera stand up here with with me. Um I was fixing things up around here and so it's discombobulated for right now. <laughs> But um, I wanted to pop one and show a few things that I have been busy uh, working on. <clears throat> and yeah, so. But I do thank you so very much for all the sweet messages that you left me. I truly do appreciate it. It really, really meant so much to me. And that really nice, sweet video that Sandy put out for me, that was... uh. That was just so beyond sweet. I don't even have words, honestly. But I truly do thank you. I thank you for being patient with me. Um, hopefully nothing else comes my way. <laughs> I hope it's at a halt right now. I truly do. Um, but, uh, so I have my nephew. He had to get surgery on his knee. And so he, he's in wrestling and everything. So his mom, my sister-in-law, she messaged me and asked me to make two amigurumis for him, uh, Pennywise and Chucky, and then little keychains for his wrestling buddies of Chucky. So I, I'm working on those. I will show you when they're completed. Um, I'm just weird like that. I, I have to get it done. Even though I know I showed an amigurumi I was working on before, but then what happened? It's up there. Like, I, I have to get it done. I can't show. I'm just weird like that. But anyway, um, once I get them done, then I, I'll show you everything before I send that out to her. Um, so, okay. So this one's done. They're all done. I just need to like add little finishing to it. The this one is I, I'm making hats. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I made hats. Um, and the first one that I'm going to show you, I just need to put the owls on. I have little owls eyes on the owls. There we go. <laughs> I made little owls, and I have to put their little eyes. I use little wooden beads. Um, and so I just have to attach that. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. So I've been like on this kick of making hats and I've been making them way different than the normal so I love um mosaic crochet I started doing mosaic crochet from Gab and Granny um she was talking about Tina and Tina oh, Theodore something it's a it's a long long name and I don't want to butcher it but Tina, you could just type Tina and she'll probably pop up T-I-N-N-A. -N -N she does a whole lot of different mosaic crochet, um, really beautiful things. And so I learned how to do Apache Tears and then I forget the other one. But I started doing like little, these little zipper bag thingies. I have them over there. Well, I only have one over there. But, um, and all that kind of stuff. So... Then I was like, you know what? I'm going to turn it into a hat. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Yesterday was hot as crap. It was like 70 and rising. And it was like, I mean, AC weather. Because like when it gets hot outside that, you know, your house gets hot. And then now, all of a sudden today, it's freezing cold. I'm like, what is going on here? So my body's kind of going through and I'm probably coughing. But I look extra pale. That's why. Um... But anyway, so I decided instead of doing, I turned the mosaic into a hat. And I thought, you know what? Instead of doing like a full just hat of mosaic crochet, I'm going to break it up and I'm going to, you know, do different things and combine a whole lot of different things together. So there's this one. Now I'll try to bring it closer to you. So you can see the owls right there. This is the back. Okay, so you can see the owls 
right there. Now this owl pattern is my pattern. I did take it down from my um, Etsy, but I have to put it back up. I have, I did a, um, an owl cow and I have the, the written pattern for that. And I took it off the Etsy because the one thing I did front post double crochet and it's supposed to be just double crochet. And so I caught that and I just fixed it. So, but that's what I did. I did my little owls and in the top I did mosaic crochet. Um, this yarn is, give me one second. Sorry. I think it, I was trying to look for it. I think it is. Yeah, it is. It's Karen Simply Soft. So this one is just cream in the Karen Simply Soft. And so I'll have to put the little wooden eyes right there. And the um, multicolor is, ooh, loops and threads, faucet, 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 faucets. Yeah, and, oh, I forget the color. It's really pretty. It's like rainbow. Well, it's not rainbow. It's pink, purple, and then had like orange and blues in it, but it changes. See that? So that is what I did. I love, love, love this. And then I just trimmed it off the bottom with um, half double crochets. Um, yeah. So I wanted to do a tutorial for this, but because the mosaic is just like a graph that I found on Pinterest, it wasn't a pattern or nothing. It was just like a little chart. I wasn't sure if I was able to. So if you comment down below and let me know if I am able to, then I'll do a um, a tutorial for this. And then we can make this hat together. But look, how, now I can see the little owl better. But isn't that so pretty? So once I, I had to put the little eyes on and then my little, not logo, but you know, that little hat thingy. So there's that one. Then... I love mermaids, and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to do a mermaid one. Now, I'm still working on my mermaid um, blanket. Um, oh boy, the pattern is called Dragon Scales, but I thought it looked like mermaids, so I decided to do, you know, a mermaid blanket. Um, but yeah, if you look on Etsy, just look up Dragon Scales Mosaic, and then you'll get that pattern popped up for you. And so I used that chart and I did this hat. Now I did the same. So the one skein I did, let me see. One, two, I have another one. Three. Huh. Give me one second. I have another hat. So sorry about that. Uh, it slipped off. I have my laptop right here and it slipped off. And so anyway, I was able to do one, two, three, four, and then fingerless gloves, which I'll show you with this hat. So from one skein of the loops and threads faucet, like I said, I was able to do the four hats. Did I say? Yeah, four hats. And then the gloves. Now, it it was broken apart. So it's not like I did a full hat. I did, you know, like that. But anyway, so this one is mermaid um, scales. And then in the middle, I did seashells. Well, the shell stitch. So here we go. Uh, this is a lion brand yarn. I want to say, ooh, it starts with a D. I'm so sorry. I know I should have saved the bands, but I didn't. But and then the silver has sparkle in it, and that is Big Twist Twinkle. And I think that only comes around out of the holidays. I had a bunch of it from last year, or was it the year before? I forget, but I have a bunch of it. But um I know I think that one only came out. They might have it all out now because you have different glitters and different sparkles, so And so then this right here is a shell stitch. So then you see how I just did the mosaic and then I um, went to shell stitch and then I did mosaic again. 
But my shell stitches, I did say that 10 times fast. <laughs> shell stitches, I did a little bit differently. I did them um, back uh, loop so you can really see the shell like pop out. So there's that. For this one, I made, let me pop them on. I just whipped these up. There are patterns for um, these types of fingerless gloves, but if you know how to do the crocodile stitch and stuff like that, you can pretty much just make it yourself. So I did fingerless gloves and I did the crocodile stitch. <laughs> like, huh. <laughs> did the crocodile stitch and look how pretty. I'm telling you, I love this yarn. Like, seriously, it does remind me of, oh boy, Red Heart Boutique. Is it Red Heart Boutique? It really reminds me of that because it goes like thick and then thin. And when you um crochet with it, um, yeah, it really goes like, you know, like some parts thick up, thick, thick up thicken and then some parts really really thin but and frogging oh boy you need to know what you're doing <laughs> like don't try to do a new pattern um because if you need to pull apart for any type of reason yeah good luck with that but uh, other than that i love it but yeah so i just thought this would be so cute together i did want to do the blue I'm going to do like a around here, the top and the bottom, and maybe around the thumb, uh, the blue, to tie it all in. That way, like, it really, like, you know, goes really, really, really good together. So, there's that one. Then this one I just did simple. So I wanted to do like a peep show hat where like the color like peeped in between. And I I know I saw it out there. I'm telling you, I know because I worked on this hat before. And for the life of me, I can't find the pattern and I can't figure out how I did it. But I did it before and it was, I did, the, the hat was black and then like in between these stitches the color popped through and it was so pretty but I couldn't figure it out so I just did a regular little striped hat and yeah so just a little beanie regular but it's still so pretty and then this again is the Karen Simply Soft just cream or maybe it's off-white I don't know I want to say cream and then this is that one uh, falsette. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, give me one second. Sorry. Had a doggy down here. She's like chewing things in here and there. She's like, Arr. I'm like, girl, get out of here with that. <laughs> so this one, this is Tina's. I know she has in her video. She teaches you how to go in the round and do like this little bag. Um. With this mosaic stitch, I don't remember what she called it, but like I said, you can search up Tina, T-I-N-N-A, and then she teaches you how to do different mosaic crochet stitches. So this one I did, and then I, I'll just show you and then I'll talk about it. So I did the mosaic crochet, and then I did um, granny stitch, but before that I did back post uh, double crochet to get that little edging out and then I topped it off with mosaic crochet again so I just wanted to like break it apart you know do something different not the typical like you know straight going even though that would be really really pretty I just really wanted to do it different so if you followed me before and if you knew you might not have watched my other videos but I love I, I learned how to knit way before I learned how to crochet so with knitting I love a knitted hat <clears throat> over a crocheted eh, that's not true I love a knitted brim over a crocheted brim that part's true um so every time I do my hats I always knit it this one's crocheted but I don't like this okay I never like that bulkiness even though I love it for this but me, I'm just like, uh, I, I need that knitting. I love the knitting, how it stretches out. It's just 
because I learned how to knit before crochet and I've always done knitted hats that I just so used to the knitted, you know, brim. This, I start, I did, I don't know where I found this. I don't know, but, oh, <clears throat> I mean, my husband beanies. That's right. And it was slip stitch. So you chain up so many chains and you slip stitch and you get like this really stretch. So I did that for the brim and oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Now it's not knitted, but if you don't know how to knit, it gives you the same stretch, but also that nice knitted look. Oh, I'm telling you, it's just so nice. So that's the brim that I've been doing for those hats that I showed. But yeah, you see that? It gives you a nice stretch. So I'm really loving this. I'm on a row, so you're going to probably get sick of me seeing me do these types of hats, but I love it. Um, like I said, I always say this, think outside of your comfort zone, you know, break out of your box. And if you're used to doing just solid hats, you could do something different now. So this one, um, so that's it for that faucet color. I don't want to say parrot. I know it's not parrot. I'm thinking of the boutique, the, um, Red Heart Boutique parrot. Cause that's the one I used to always get. Um. I don't know, but they have beautiful colors, and I can't wait to get more. I have, like, four four different ones, but it's, like, brown and gold or something. But I want to go, hopefully, maybe I can go tomorrow or something to the Michaels and pick up some. And if I do, I'll pop on here and show you. So this one I did, and I did Big Twist, just a regular Big Twist yarn. Um, it's, like, a super saver, but way, way softer. So, and then I did the faucet. Oh, but again, I don't have the band with me, so I don't know the color. But here it is. And so I did, like, um, puff stitch, a V puff stitch. So I did that in the middle, but then I did the mosaic, and then the puff stitch, and then mosaic again. And then for the top, I just did regular, oops, Regular like double crochet is how you like decrease so that way it just closed off But there we go for that one. I Really really love this one and I'm not even a browns person But I do really really love this one and you see that nice stretch. Oof. I, <laughs> I go crazy for a nice stretch. I I think that's what my problem is with the crochet brims is that you don't get that mm, that nice stretchness and so because I have fibromyalgia my skin and everything's so sensitive like things tight I'm just like Ugh, you know like and so I like that nice stretch and I don't know it might just be mean be weird and like in the knitting but with this new and it's probably not even new to you it's just new to me um slip stitch so what I did I chained nine no I chained 11 and then I slip stitched into the, each 10 stitches. So I had a nice, um, thickish kind of brim. But yeah, there we go. So that's that one. Ah, uh, I love that one. So I had to do some knitting because, you know, I was doing a lot of crochet and my knitting was getting jealous. I. I'm a big downer <laughs> on Red Heart Super Saver. I'm always putting it down. I'm always saying how rough it feels and I hate it. However, crocheted and knit are so different and they give you like this different material when you're working with different yarns. Yard. Yarns, not yards, yarns. So is that a B? See, even the bees are like, they should be hibernating or whatever they do in the winter. And it's like, they're confused because yesterday they were like, it was hot and sunny. So they're like, oh, it's spring. Let me come out. And yeah. So anyway, um, I, like I was saying with the knitting and the crochet with the different yarns, you just get like a different fa fabric. So I started crocheting this and I started doing mosaic. But then I was like, uh, it's too rough. I'm not liking it. So I frogged it. 
So then I was like, you know what? I really, really want to do this. I love Lisa Frank. So I wanted to do like a Lisa Frank type of hat. So I did knitted, knitted lips. You can see the lips. And this is Red Heart Super Saver. Oh boy. Again with the bands. I'm so sorry. I need to remember just to save my bands. But I rip them off and I like ball them up. And then I'm like, nah, I need to save it. But um, it's their rainbow color. I don't know. But look how pretty it looks. And I just let it do its little thing. And I just love how it... I love the fade. I really love how, like, it fades up into the color. Ah. I think that which, that's what drew me to the yarn is how pretty the yarn was. And I was like, oh, it's super saver. Now I'm going to have to, like, extra wash it to make it nice and soft. But no, knitting, it's really soft. So, and this is impeccable purple it's a dark purple i know it's coming up black but maybe you can see right there it's purple so i just wanted to do you know kissy lips and i did that and then i'm gonna do um i have my cricket and i'm gonna do i don't know if i want to do kiss me or my lips or lips are sealed or something but i'm gonna do a little hat um label thing right here I have leather and then I have the Cricut pens and so it like writes in the leather so I don't know if I'm gonna do that or how I'm gonna do my iron-on we'll see we'll see which one I like better when I do this so but I want to do another one I want to do red white and black and do Betty Boop and then I'm gonna have like Betty Boop in the middle so that's what I want to do. So there's that one. This one, I, again, I'm on this whole kick of not having, even though I did this solid here, I'm on a whole kick of breaking apart the hat and doing like peep show type thing. So I did this. This is knitted again. This is the, um... Big twist, I want to say twinkle. And it's silver and has sparkles in it. And then this is um loops and threads the faucet. I forget I don't know the colorway. It's the brown one. The brown one. <laughs> it's different browns and it fades, and I just thought that is so cheetah. And then just black yarn. So but I started doing my cheetah and then I thought, oh my goodness, I had the silver. So I don't want to do like all cheetah and then, you know, a silver pom-pom or just, you know, leave this silver. I thought, I want to do this unique. So then I did the little edgings. Edgings. I don't even know what that's called. You do three rows uh, or you can do as many rows as you want. But I did three of um, pearl and then three knit three pearl three knit and it gives you like these little bubbled out um you know effect and then I did the cheetah print again and then I did again the top the same way but then I started decreasing and just knitting into it I could close it off but there that it that is <laughs> there that is so ah uh, I love it I want to do mittens um I want to do like mittens. I don't know if I want to do like paw print mittens or just like th like this, you know, silver, um, the cheetah print and, you know, so we'll see. We'll see what my brain lets me do. But I really, really love this. I really love this. It just, let me, give me a second. Sorry, so now you can see what it looks like when it's on. But uh, I just really love how it's like, uh, I could say broken apart, but split up into sections like that. You can really see the cheetah print. Uh, it's so nice. So I have an idea on what I want to do. 
I'm not going to say what it is in case I fail, <laughs> but I'm hoping I don't fail and I hope it, that it comes out the way that I want. This is, it's not a pattern. I just did it. Um, I, Catherine Bird? Yeah, I think it was. She had got me this little book and it has like all these charts in it. And so you can do like draw up your uh, thing. So that's what I did. I just drew up the little cheetah print and then I just, you know, did a little section and then just kept on going around and around. And then that's how I did my little cheetah print. Um, I don't know if you could see. Oh, you have a pointed <laughs> right back there. That hat is all of this. And so I just used that same little technique to make that hat. So that is what I have done so far. So right now on my knitting needles, I am working on another hat um, similar to this one, but not cheetah print. I'm really trying to, oh, oh my goodness. And I just saw glitter pink. Maybe I'll switch to that. But anyway, um, I'm, okay, I'll, t I'll let you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do a reversible hat. So one side's going to be one colorway and the other side's going to be another colorway. So that's what I'm trying to work on. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's going to be, hopefully it comes out the way that I want it to come out. Um, yeah, I'm really, really hoping because in my mind, it's like the, it's going to be so, so cool and also something that's going to be, I don't know, unique. So I'm hoping I can execute it the way that my brain is tell is letting me. You ever do that? You ever like get like this crazy idea like <laughs> at 3 a.m. you're a genius? <laughs> you ever like pull it all nighter and all of a sudden 3 a.m. hits and all of a sudden you become like this mad scientist and all these crazy ideals pop in your head and you're like oh my goodness I could be a millionaire tomorrow Woo! okay you just stay there <laughs> that's my light I've been moving things around um uh Mr. Hoot Jeff had gotten me this yeah, rug cleaner. My my mind said rug cleaner, but then it wouldn't. It kept thinking, and that was weird. But no, this nice little rug cleaner. So I've been going crazy, <laughs> and so I did all in here, and so I had to put. Well, I didn't move the dressers and things out the way, but everything else around me I had moved, and so I was putting everything back so I can get it all uh, done. What happened was, um, I had an AC in the window. And I don't even know what happened, but it leaked inside, but it was weird. It didn't leak in the wall. It just like went through the floor. And so the rug had like a musky smell. I was like, what is going on? And every time I came in here, it was like damp. I'm like, is it because it's too cold? Like, why is it doing that? So finally figured it out. It was from the AC and I don't know how that happens, but, um, so yeah, I did the rug so it was just it didn't smell like mildew well yeah maybe like mildewy I don't know it I don't know maybe it was just me because nobody else can smell it but me but I said oh I don't want my yarn and everything it's smelling weird but I don't know it might have just been me but anyway oh, sorry I see my mind goes I saw something I was like oh let me see what this is but um yeah so uh I'm really, really hoping that I can do that in my mind. It's not going to let me do anything else until I can get this done. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. But, yep, I hope you like my hats that I made. I really do. What I do is I make a whole bunch of hats and then... Get out of here, little fly. Go. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I do a whole bunch of hats and then um, I put them out. I have, like, this... Well, one of those little pigboard thingies. And I put a sign. Baby, it's cold outside. So take a hat or something like that. I forget what my little sign says. Um, and then I put it outside so people can walk on by and take a hat if they want to. And last year, I had one hat left over. 
Yeah, it was a small hat, so they probably thought it was a kid until they didn't take it, but it was a beanie. So Mr. Hoot took it because he loves beanies. Um, but all the other hats were gone. And it was nice hearing people like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it was funny because like, when you think of guys, like they're like rough and tough, right? <laughs> and then you're like, you know, you don't, to be in mind of a guy and how like they talk and how they look at things is so like funny because I know how I look at things, but guys are so different. Mr. Who is an exception because he's always like, oh my goodness, I love this. Or you should make this. Or you should make that. But these types of guys, they're like city guys. Okay. I was going to say, they're like, okay, light, you just stay right there. Stop moving. So they were like rough and tough, you know, <laughs> they were walking down the street and I heard him like, oh, this is the real deal. This is handmade. You can't get none of this in stores. Ooh, ooh, this is nice right here. <laughs> and it was just, I was, I was dying laughing. It was so funny hearing them talk about it. But it made me feel good that, you know, like they appreciated it, you know? And then they got their hats. I know the one guy got the Star Wars hat. So, cause he was like, ooh, I like this right here. <laughs> And then the other ones got some, and I don't know. I think they went back and got friends because I remember like, look, get a hat. <laughs> but yeah, so, and I don't, I know, I know they're fancy, you know, but I don't know. That's okay. Um, I think, you know, so many times, especially now with things getting really hard, sometimes you go to the store food prices are rising and you know other things that your money goes to those items that you need and sometimes you don't get the prettier things in life you know like maybe a fancy hat or you know something like that and so if I could give that to somebody I want to um so that's why I try to go above and beyond with when I make my hats um I just want somebody to feel special. To be like, wow, you know, somebody took their time out to make this. Not only just make it, but give it away, you know. And that's so nice. And maybe in their mind, they'll think about that every time they wear that hat. Like, wow, this was gifted. Somebody, you know, spent hours on this and gifted it. And now it's my turn to do back. And maybe they'll, you know, keep on giving and keep on going and be a nice so who knows but that's that's a nice thought right <laughs> so alrighty I think this is like a really short video <laughs> the shortest I've done in a while oh look at me showing skin Duh. sorry <laughs> I'm here just like hey <laughs> I'm so sorry um can you tell I haven't been on in a while and I look a hot mess and the whole thing it won't well, I look like a hot mess now because I put the hat on. But I was like, oh, I'm going to braid my hair. And it looked all nice. And next thing you know, it just started, like, coming out. That's because I didn't do it tight. I just did, like, a loose braid. But that's what I get for trying. Um, I was going to say, I know I've said this before. But I do promise I was going to do it today, actually. But I had two videos that I had the Made It Monday for. And so... I have to go to back to both of them and pick the winners. So that's what I'll do. And I will get on here Friday for sure, for sure. Because hopefully by the end of the day, my hat is done. Because this only took me, yeah, this didn't take me that long, believe it or not. It's like I knit really fast and I also crochet really fast when I like know what I want to do and like I want to get it done. Like, ooh, I got an idea. You know, you ever get that way? Like, oh, I need to get this done. And so, I'm going to done really quickly. So, that's what took me forever, believe it or not, were the lips. Because I was liking the lips. Oh, you know what it was? I crocheted it first. I did mosaic first. And it was so bulky and um, rough that I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. And then I pulled it all apart. And then I sat there thinking, I really love this yarn. I really want to use it. What can I do? And then that's when I did the lip design. And then I started doing that and started liking it. And then I thought, well, do I want to break it apart and do like half lips, half of the nails, half lips, or do I just want to keep it going? And so that's what took me the longest. It probably took me like two days 
because I had to decide what I wanted to do. But I just kept it going because of the pretty rainbow. I really wanted that to just go through. And so, yeah, so I'm going to do my little, I don't I want to say logo, not logo, little hat thingy. I don't know what I want to do though. I'm going to do kiss me or lips are sealed, but then they kind of look like, like, give me a kiss. So maybe I'll do kiss me. I don't know. But yeah, I have a whole lot of leather and felt and everything. And so, um, to make the labels, is it label? Is that what it is? I don't know. Hat label? <laughs> I don't know. But I thought that would be so cute. Like to put that right there. And then the mermaid one. Um, oh, oh my goodness. I had it. Oh, it was cute too. It was like something like be a mermaid or something like that. Like. Oh, I forget. But I'll let you. I do. I have it all saved. I've written it all down on my computer and have it saved. Um, I just pop up the Cricut thing. And then what is nice is with the Cricut app, you can design what you want. And then you click save. And then all you have to do is hook it up to your Cricut. You plug into your computer. And then you can just click make. And then it will, you know, make it all. So that's what I do. Like as I'm going with the hats, I get the little design all done and then that way it's all saved and then I could do it all at once click make and then it will make it all at once for me but yeah it was really cute oh give me a second I'm gonna it's gonna drive me crazy until I tell you there's a million fish in the sea but I'm a mermaid so that was the one little thing I was gonna do the other one do I have it saved Maybe not, but yeah, that was it. There was another one. It was something like, I really hate not being a mermaid or something like that. I thought that was cute too, but I I like that one. There's a million fish in the sea, but I'm a mermaid. So that's what I'm going to put. Oops. But isn't that like really good? Hold on, I'll tell you. So that's what I was going to put like right here. Make a little small thing and then I was going to hand stitch it on. So, yeah. But I cannot believe that I got all of those hats done all with just the one skein. And I still have like this much left. <laughs> Not enough for anything, but yeah, I had like that much left. And I got two skeins of it, so... Yeah, I'm, I was really, I was like, whoa, this is like <laughs> the never-ending yarn. <laughs> like the never-ending Godstopper, the never-ending yarn. If you hit me one more time, like, like, ugh. Okay, I know you want attention. <sighs> needy, needy, needy. All right, let me get out of here because now I'm seeing like all this yarn that I like had moved and now it's like out and I'm like, oh, I want to do stuff. <laughs> so, ugh. I will be back on Friday. I will do the winners for the pattern for the Maiden Mondays. Um, and hopefully I have my hat done. Uh, I'll be able to show that. And hopefully I have the little, the hard, the hardest thing is the little keychains. Because you want them small enough for a backpack. So it's like, yeah, I'm not going to get 20 of them. I only, I, I started doing them and they came out like this big. And I thought, oh. They're not going to want to like lug around that, you know, so I'm trying to work it to where it's, oh, sorry, that came out of nowhere. I try to work it to where it's smaller and I don't want to have to use thread. I hate crocheting with thread. Well, I don't hate it. It's just, a t it's a hassle. So, hmm. Alrighty, so I hope you all have a horrific day. I thank you again very, very much. Oh, wait, this way. <laughs> don't, don't look. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Always with yourself. Ah, oh, told you to put your shirt on. She just likes to be free. She's like, oh. she has an embarrassment to my craft room. 
Anyway, I hope you all are having a hooterick day. I thank you again so very much for the uh, kind words and the emails and the messages. I truly, truly do appreciate it. It really, it really meant a lot to me. It really helped me not get into a funk because I thought I was going to get into a funk. But I did take a little bit of time to just like not think about anything and just crochet. So, and knit. So. Alrighty. Who ends it out? Bye.